The fucking clocks went back an hour at the weekend and it's completely fucked me up. I feel like I've got fucking jet lag. And that time rolls around and you get up in the morning, you look at your watch. It's obviously watches don't adjust themselves unless it's like a smart watch or you've spent thousands on a really fancy one. Look at it, you think, oh, it's 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. I'll probably get up. So you get up, turn your computer on, look at the time on the computer. It's fucking 9 a.m., isn't it? Oh, I could have fucking stayed in bed, it's a fucking Sunday, but no, you're up now. Every year I do that, every fucking year. Come on, dick fuck, Jesus fucking Christ. This is going to be the second time I've recorded this vlog, because I found out more about the subject since I recorded it this morning on the way home from work. But basically, it's about Vine. Um, if you don't know already, um, Vine is basically coming to an end. The mobile app will be shutting down in the coming months, but the website will still be up and you'll still be able to like watch and download your vines through there. But no, it is a shame because I like Vine. You know, I, I've been watching it for a few years now. I use it daily, literally daily, because it's what I use when I'm having a shit. It's the perfect app for when you get your phone out and you're on the hey, you're having a shit and you want to entertain yourself whilst you shit. Vine is perfect for that. I don't think I used it at any other point. But now they're getting rid of it. And up until when I got home from work this morning, I couldn't really figure out why, you know, I couldn't find anything as to why. But when I got in, I was on the toilet and I went on Vine, because you know it's not yet been shut down yet, it's still out. And I, I found basically someone I think it was Charlie Classic, uh, Viner, uh, basically linking an article about what happened to Vine and why it's getting shut down. And basically, from what I can remember reading the article, all the most popular Viners with, you know, three million plus followers, basically went to Vine and said, if you don't give us this, 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 this and this, then we're not going to use the app anymore because basically the, the way they saw it is the app wasn't getting used as much and they weren't getting the amount of views and therefore the amount of money that they were used to getting so they went to vine and said look can we have you know these these things on the app or we will walk and we will no longer use the app and therefore vine don't get money from that and vine quite rightly said no <laughs> Oh, there's a fire of some description. Or somebody having a bonfire. Maybe there's a bonfire at like midday on a fucking Monday. Yeah, Vine, or Twitter, because Twitter owned Vine, basically said no. <laughs> Quite rightly so. So yeah, basically, these Viners came up with this ultimatum saying, if you don't give us all these things, then we're going to leave. Either that, or you can give us $1.2 million each. Like, what the fuck? Just... <laughs> They're already millionaires because of Vine and they went to Vine and said can we have more money, please? As if they fucking need it So yeah, basically because of this all the bigger Viners have basically said no, we're not using Vine anymore Fuck it because you're not giving us you're not giving us money or what we want. So bye bye and because of this Vine is shutting down How fucking stupid is that just because some fucking fat egos didn't get the money they wanted this app that has been fucking brilliant is now being shut down. You know, I love Vine. Like I said, I use it every day without fail. And there are some fan fucking tastic content creators on there. Like, to list but a few Evan Breen, Dan Curtin, Nick Coletti, Sarah Shower, Chris Melberger, Aaron Tuning, Casey Frey. There's fucking loads of really good Viners out there. And because of this, they're going to have that sort of that benefit of making those short six second videos on an easy to use, very functional app taken away from them because the bigger Viners, who I've never liked, by the way, basically said, you know what, if you don't give us money, Twitter, then fuck you, we're going. So they are single handedly responsible for the death of Vine. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. 
if the if if Vine was going downhill like they said it was, which is you know more than likely true, then why rather than fucking begging, you know, going oh give us money or we go or give us this these tools in the app, then we'll go. Why not just you're the people making the content on the app, therefore you're responsible for the engagement. Surely you're responsible for making content that's going to attract more viewers. It's not Vine's fault. Vine, no, it's not. <laughs> you're the fucking content creators. You fucking deal with it. You can't go to a company whose services you have been using in order to gain your popularity and your fame and say, give us more money or we're not going to use it anymore. You wouldn't have what you have if it wasn't for Vine. Fuck you. Oh.